Okay. There we go. Give us a. Who? What? Where? Oh, Christ, not again. Couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous inanimate figure. Hey, hey Jesse. But no. You had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am. An enchanted, talking, ticked-off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. <laughs> well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere uh, in this uh, I'm a talking monkey. Uh. And I've seen everything. Much more than some grog light swilling nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? Hey, pink! Yeah, oh yeah, video is great for that when they're done with this season. So this, that's all. That's awesome, isn't it? Oh yeah, Harry Ramos was awesome. I saw the the, the first two Ghostbusters movies, and then later I saw him in um, what was it? Uh, Stars and Stars and Stripe. He started alongside. I think it was Stars and Stripe. He started. He started alongside Bill Murray and uh, John Candy. It was great. All star cast. That's going pretty well, Missy. Figured out the raft uh, bug issue. I got original people in it though, but the new one, new ones is great. But um, yeah, just now we're just trying to adorn the uh, the figurehead here, who now is magically woken. So now that you are alive, we just give you the necklace. A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet! You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. Wow, <laughs> really? That's rude. Rude, 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 rude. Got a pin on the chain. What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? <laughs> you pantaloon freak. I'm guessing do we use the map too? The planing. Oh. Do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah. Do you mind? You know what else would look good? What, what you grabbing on, T? Your blood on my hand. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big <laughs> yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? How the poop deck should I know? That's great. Get a load of this guy. Thinks just because I'm attached to a ship, I know where oh, no, every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Right? Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Three Thorns. I'm a <laughs> mighty stupid pirate. <laughs> oh, she got that country. She got the country. She got the country voice to it. Uh, ew, Billy. Hey, Dawson, how you doing, bud? All right. This is what he sounds like. Yeah, that's still typical. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing we're just crying right now. It's on the one line. They're great. They're great. It's time for a hillbilly moment. <laughs> There's a hillbilly we don't talk about anymore. But he coke, you know. Got all hillbilly. Mm -hmm. My favorite hillbillies are the Beverly Hillbillies. I love. I, I. I'm not even gonna lie. I love that show. It was just because it was something someone is kind of good looking, you know. But I actually enjoyed the show. You know. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. The Amanda show. What's the Amanda show, T? Uh, sorry, anime. On purpose, Dolphins? <laughs> I, I hope you had a good day today, brother. Goodbye, Steve, Dolphins. How was your day, dude? Mm, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm gonna let her do her little scrying. Keep trying. 
grind, that's grind, I tell you what. Okay, so it looks like Jambalaya. Jambalaya? That's Jambalaya. Yeah, Jambalaya, right? Jambalaya. Jambalaya. Jumba it says Jambalaya, but okay. Okay, yeah, we're here in Melee Island. We got Fat Island, we just came from Luca Island. Interesting. So we're going to Jambalaya, you know, okay. Looks like I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look <laughs> at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your. Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. I became a map now. Right. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now, where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, <laughs> Mr. Cheese? Aye. I make it so. <clears throat> hey, Thank you for getting that the card. Make it so. Number one. Uh, yeah, I've been doing good today, having some tea to soothe the sore throat. I'm glad to hear that, brother. I mean, now you'd be glad that sore throat's been gone. Much longer positive about tea building. <laughs> Clean unload. I don't think so. The ship was fully stocked with pork rind, grog, and girly books. <laughs> Girly books. Mm, oh my. Oh right, I forgot to kiss you goodbye. Oh right. I forgot to kiss you goodbye. <laughs> no, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh yeah. Here. Always dot those. Always, always. You never well, know when you need to, to find the ultimate insult. Need to change them. <laughs> what? Bye, bye, Lane. Bye, what? Whitey. Hey, a talking monkey. No, oh, ungrateful. <laughs> Mr. Cheese. Talking you monkey. But how do you know? How do you know? Ah, where'd be the fun in that? Uh, cry havoc and let slip the Make dog. The dog's dog's a Release the kraken. Yes. Not in the face. Not in the face. Not in the face. <laughs> oh, the ship cannot stand the strain. Monkeys. 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 There's no place like home. <laughs> Uh, release the Kraken! Not in the face! Well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky-themed <laughs> restaurants. And tourists. Do I hear the music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. Micro Groggery. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, it's a Star Buccaneers coffee, not not to be confused with Starbucks. All right. What Planet Deepwood? Wait, what? <laughs> That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need would. A drink. Yeah, keep I've that wood. To make. Keep that wood. I'll keep this wood, and, ladies. Um, <laughs> guard the sheep. Guard the sheep. Oh, we got a community rowboat too. Gigging it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Let's save the game. Longest same game save in history. Oh wow! Never mind. It decided to show me up. Like, oh, you want? It's me to wait the longest time. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be quick about it. I guess the only time you want it to be quick. <laughs> Giggity. Welcome to Jambalaya Island. That sign is really high in the air. Mm. Canoes for rent. Hi, Otis. What? Where's Carla? She's on chore leave. I'm sure you can find her at the bottom of a bottle of grog. I wish I could join her. Hey, you, sh you should. 
Yeah, have a drink. Relax. Carla's drunk. Good for her. I wish I could join her. Why aren't you with Carla? Because someone has to stay and watch the chip. While, uh, Mr. There's plenty of room between those reefs. Hotshot Navigator fixes the damage he did to the hull. It's just as well. This whole island, it gives me the creeps. Every island gives you the creeps, Steve. I don't suppose you've got any useful thoughts about the ultimate insult. Are you kidding? I'm living the ultimate insult. <laughs> I'm living it. Will you try to stay out of trouble this time? How much trouble could I get into walking on a dock? I shudder to think. Besides, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to go into town. This island gives me the willies. The willies. Do you want me to get you anything from town? I don't know. I can't imagine needing anything from a town that's so clean. How about a half decaf, half cap, triple cappuccino, mocha latte from Starbucks in ears? No thanks. I try not wow, to drink that's anything a with a longer Say that three than times fast. Like grog odors? Yes, very much. Well. How about a custom brewed boysenberry grog from the micro groggery? I don't trust those micro groggeries. Why not? I never seen a pirate go blind drink a micro grog. Now you tell me, what kind of grog is that? Good point. <laughs> How about some authentic souvenirs from Planet Threepwood? Don't I get enough of you in my life as it is? <laughs> hey, I'm not that bad. Well, I saw some lovely flowers at the edge of the docks. Ha freaking ha. <laughs> hmm. You know, I can't think of anything you'd want either. Carry on. Okay, That's what I was trying to do. Okay, see you, Otis. I can't seem to get the hang of volleyball. The ball keeps smacking me in the face and knocking me out. Dude, you're a si guy brush, you're a seriously <laughs> uncoordinated as heck. Thinking, uh, dude, all right. So we got Planet Deepwood. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oi, matey. Oi, matey. Set sail for family fun at Planet Deepwood. See, souvenirs of the guy brush, most famous as Yeah, I have my personal stalker who's now I banking in on my character's name. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Knock it off. Murray! Oh, my boy, Murray! Looks like this particular storefront hasn't been moved into yet. The sign says, coming soon, Jumbo Juice Frozen Fruit Smoothies. Added nutrients oh, to the my favorite maniacal. 99% of pirates aged two and above. Genuine evil, wanting to take over the world, pirating skull, fucking pirating skull, Murray. It's an empty Star Buccaneers Grogachino cup. I can't get it from here. There's a window pane in the way. It's a window pane in the wee. Ooh, pretty flowers. I don't think these flowers are gonna get me any closer to assembling the ultimate insult. Okay. So we're uh, shipping about timbers on inside. Hold on. Caught the string, lady. Nah, I'll leave it be. I'm guessing that coffee got me solved. We, we wanted to grab it. Wow. Seems a little gaudy to have a sign that big inside the store. Right. Welcome to Star Buccaneers Coffee House. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> that voice, though. Grog me! I, I doubt it. Bye. Have a Bye. nice day, and visit us again soon. You too. <laughs> hmm. Oh, not, not just... Welcome to Star Buccaneers Coffee House. Him again. Can I help you, sir? I'm a mighty pirate. Surrender your women. Very good, sir. You almost sound like a real pirate. Can I make you a coffee drink? Almost. Surrender, you women! But I am a real pirate. Me too. Watch this. Arg. Yikes. Pretty good, <laughs> huh? I was top of my class at the Pirate Training Academy. So, pirate boy, what can I get pirate for you? Boy. 
Got the Pirate Academy, huh? Okay. Nothing, I guess. Have a nice day, and visit us again soon. Everybody calls me boy. Boy. Star Buccaneers logo merchandise. Logo mugs, t-shirts, thermoses, coffee pitchers, and a few items that I don't recognize. What a ripoff. I could get any of these things for a tenth of the price back on Melee Island. Yes, but you'd still be on Melee Island. Touche. It's a ship riding a wave out of a big coffee cup. How cute. In a corporate retail sort of way. In a corporate retail. <laughs> that would look great in the backyard, but I don't think Elaine would agree. Gotta concede to the with a wife, everyone. He sounds so like Shaggy from Scoop. He does. He really does miss it. Oh. <laughs> Jinky Shaggy. Oh no, Scoop. We came in that door right there, right? Jinky Shaggy. Okay, what's the um? Cups just right there. It's an empty Star Buccaneers Grogachino cup. Okay. It should be to. It looks like it's to the left, but. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, sir. I'm not sure what you're doing, but hey. I'm sure it's against company policy. Nice drawing. <laughs> hey, I'm not. What, what do you think I'm doing? I'm just looking at my, at my my inventory. Jeez. <laughs> you don't happen to offer free refills, do you? You betcha, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Even though he's never seen me in his life. You can't enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can you? Uh, just get me my Gragachino, please. Alrighty, coming right up. That's a big pile of cups. Anything else? Oh, hold on. It's a tray full of mini bagels with some kind of weird pasty goop on top. That goop you are referring to is Star Buccaneer's own Schmear Whiz. A wonderfully <laughs> delightful blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving away free samples today as a promotion, so please help yourself. Gee, thanks, Shaggy. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I'll have one. Zoinks, yo! <laughs> it was... Yeah, okay. Well, here goes nothing. Bottoms up. Oh. <laughs> 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 that bad. Good gravy, that tastes horrible. <laughs> Good gravy, that's horrible. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Oh, he kind of left those, okay. He sounds like those weird sounds. That's horrible. Yes, he said good gravy. <laughs> good gravy! Good! Instead of good god, we have good gravy! Love it. <laughs> Hold on. Pardon me. Yes? You don't look like any pirate that I've ever seen. A pirate? <laughs> I'm a dental hygienist, mister. What's a dental hygienist doing in the Caribbean? Well, I'm on vacation, silly. Let's have nice tea, chat. It's all gravy, baby. I actually said that to my wife. <laughs> when she get mad? It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. She just, just look at me like... <laughs> and then I just go, yeah, like, oh, and then, you know, <laughs> I don't know, stupid things. <laughs> I would say, I, you know, it worked though, you know what I mean? It worked. Man gravy. All kinds of gravy. But I'm not going to be like Bubba and then list off all the gravy. 
Baby, that outfit's making me hungry. <laughs> Baby, that outfit's making me hungry. Don't get fresh, local boy. <laughs> Sorry. Don't get fresh, local boy. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that when he gets all like trying to get all suave, like, hey baby, hey baby. <laughs> that outfit's making me awfully hungry. Don't get fresh, local boy. <laughs> Isn't it a little dangerous to be vacationing in pirate-infested waters? Danger? Ha! I laugh at danger. <laughs> Besides. I read about how Aussie Mandrill's been rehabilitating Jambalaya's pirates, making the island safe for sightseers and cute little shops like this. Have you seen any unrehabilitated pirates? Not one. Isn't that great? Yeah, great. <laughs> See how Steven runs away. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What would you say if I told you that I was an unrehabilitated pirate? I'd say you were being a big silly. I'm <laughs> big, rude. I am. I'm totally an unrehabilitated pirate. Arrgh. Rude. Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a new kind of frappuccino maker? No, it's a malevolent voodoo talisman of gut-wrenching power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Ooh, that sounds exciting. What do the pieces look like? Mm. Oh, damn chief and brush. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, huh? Sorry, I'm drawing a big old blank. Sounds exotic, though. If you find the shop that sells them, let me know. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. Monkey nope, head. Can't think of anything. Hmm. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. Nope. Can't think of anything. Kappa. <laughs> One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Oh, you know, I believe the local cliff diving competition has a trophy that looks like that. Really? I think so. There was a picture of it Gold in the travel guide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, behave. So, you think the golden man might be the diving trophy? That's what I remember from the travel guide. Travel guide. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fine. Fine. Do you want to help me some more with the ultimate insult? Oh, my, yes. What do those pieces look like again? He's. <laughs> okay. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Okay, so Fine. we we know we know one now. The di uh, golden man. I guess it'll be a diving trophy. Well, what are you doing? I'm picking up some bags of this absolutely fabulous Star Buccaneers coffee. You just can't get coffee like this at home. Of course you can. There are thousands of Star Buccaneers. Yeah, but these have Jambalaya Island stamped on them. My friends at home will be so envious. Oh, Amius. I still say that coffee is coffee is coffee. Well, of course you do, you poor, unsophisticated pirate. The locals never seem to appreciate what they have. I still say that coffee is coffee is coffee. I'll just be on my way. Ta! Ta! A small bucket of Star Buccaneers logo umbrellas. A small bucket of Star Buccaneers logo oh, umbrellas. I did not mean to look back at. There we go. Star Buccaneers logo merchandise, logo mugs, T-shirts, thermoses, coffee pitchers, and a few items that I don't recognize. What a ripoff! I could get any of these things for a tenth of the price back on Melee Island. Yes, but you'd still be on Melee Island. Hey. Hold on. The strange lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Touristy stuff mostly. Lots of coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. Oh, okay. Um. There's a sale on coffee beans. Oh my word! Really? <laughs> Oops, my mistake. You almost gave me a heart attack. 
Oh, well, see you later. All right, moving on. Ah, uh, Twas moving on. Let's go. Ah. Uh, so so easy fall for everything that good old guy brush says. And they're so gullible these people, I tell you. Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer style family dining? Murray! Oh, Murray? Murray the evil skull? Guy brush? Guy brush the mortal pirate? Wow, it is a small world after all. It's a small world after all. I'll how would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Is it an evil talisman? Potentially. What's it called? The ultimate insult. The ultimate... Don't be naive, mortal. The ultimate insult is too powerful to be wielded by the likes of you. But I need a headpiece, and you'd be perfect. See? You fool! This diagram clearly indicates you need a monkey head. I am a human head. I just thought... Well, think a little harder. I want no part of this ultimate insult tomfoolery. Fine, then. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm the greeter slash bouncer of Planet Freepwood. The creme de la creme in pirate-themed family style, altogether evil dining. Nice! Yeah. All right, I added the evil part. I got it here, but I can't imagine how you could be a very good bouncer. Why not? Well, for starters, you've got no arms. Evil needs no arms. Watch. That's what he you, said, Doctor. Over there with the face. Well, who? Me? Yes, you. I want you out of the hey, restaurant baby. now. Nothing like a little oh, head. But I'm not. Talk to the hand, mortal. <laughs> uh, what hand? <laughs> Don't play smart with me, fleshbag. Out, out, out. Talk to the hand. What hand? Don't get smart with me, flashback. <laughs> I don't imagine you get much repeat business, though. So, how do you like this job? Personally, I preferred it when I was just the greeter. It really allowed me plenty of time to work on my evil dreams. But when Floppo the Bouncer Monkey ran away, they needed someone to double on bouncer duty, and I really needed the monkey. money. Monkey! Murray, what do you need money for? To finance my diabolical schemes, of course. Do you have any idea Sounds how reasonable. much it costs to hire a fleet of Scandinavian barbarians these days? <laughs> a whole fleet. <laughs> oh, he's just very ambitious. I love it. What? What? It's not working? Oy. Good old Streamlabs chatbot, I swear. How did you escape from Monkey Island? The last time I saw you, you were sitting on a shelf in LeChuck's demonic amusement park. Ah, that's a tale of heart-stopping malice and evil. Mm, naturally. It all started a few months ago. As usual, I was sitting on my shelf, working on my plans to conquer the world. <laughs> Suddenly, the amusement park exploded with a blast of demonic heck fire. Yeah, that was me. It, it was those uh, hydrogen filled LeChuck balloons, right? I knew they were trouble. Was well, it an unfortunate <laughs> Was it an unfortunate accident at Largo's Burrito Bar? No, it was LeChuck. Apparently his flaming beard melted its way through his icy tomb, freeing him. I knew I should have given him a shave before I left. But what caused the explosive blast of demonic heck fire? Oh, he was just letting off a little steam. Steam, get it? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Off in his head, literally. <laughs> good old, good, hey, good old Murray, man. He was a skull when I met him, and he's still a skull. And he's still plotting to take over the world. So, after LeChuck escaped, how did you end up here? After his escape, LeChuck began destroying skull his theme Tom park in a fit of demonic rage. Although, personally, I think he was just colossally embarrassed by the whole thing. I mean, really, what kind of a demonically evil scheme involves roller coasters and cotton candy, anyway? Enough editorializing. How'd you wind up here? Oh, that. Well, one of the explosions flung me out to sea, where, ironically, I landed on the shattered remnants of a midway dart game. After weeks at sea, I drifted ashore on this delightfully evil isle, where Ozzy Mandrill man after my own blackened soul gave me a job at this fine establishment. Mwah. 
You know, the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart-stopping malice and evil. Are you kidding? It had LeChuck, Ozzy, and oh, yours truly. Breakfast. How much more evil can you get? Yeah. Good point. Alright, see you later, Mary. Go. Stop by any time for more pirate-themed fun <laughs> and evil. <laughs> <laughs> I love that evil laugh. That's such a great evil laugh.